The use of high-throughput sequencing technologies has rapidly expanded over the last few years. This has created new challenges for researchers who need access to sophisticated bioinformatics software and programming technologies in order to analyse the wealth of data generated and identify biologically and clinically relevant variants in patients. To address these challenges, we developed SNPNexus, a cutting-edge analytical platform able to analyse and interpret sequencing variations. SNPNexus allows for a wide range of data input formats, including both single and batch queries. It streamlines complex data analysis and connects information from different sources, allowing for the prioritisation of variant panels associated with disease. SNPNexus was also designed with an easy-to-access, user-friendly web portal with a detailed user guide and examples of use, and so can be used by researchers without any programming expertise. The user-friendly nature of SNPNexus allows different data input and output formats, including interactive visualisations which summarise the results for easy inspection. Genomic mapping and predicted consequences of queried variants are computed against up to seven widely used gene annotations, major regulatory elements, population data and phenotype and disease association databases. All annotation categories are constantly under review for new updates which will further improve the biological and phenotypical interpretation capabilities of SNPNexus. Another key element of SNPNexus is the application of user-based filtering. Genome-wide sequencing can generate hundreds of thousands of variants per patient, which have to be carefully mined to select candidates that are most likely to be clinically or biologically informative for a particular disease. With SNPNexus, users can quickly and easily apply complex filtering steps to prioritise key variants based on the annotation categories selected. While the example of use I will present next is focused on cancer, SNPNexus can also be used for a variety of other disease applications. This includes the identification of variants associated with diseases or traits in genome-wide association studies. Here, I will show how SNPNexus can be used to analyse sequence data from a patient with pancreatic cancer and identify important clinically relevant variants. A variant query can be started by providing contact details to receive a notification once the annotation process is complete for the uploaded dataset. The next step is to select the genome assembly, either HD19 or HD38, in the user interface. The query input form and set of annotations available for each assembly will be displayed after the selection of the relevant assembly. Input variants, which can either be single nucleotide variants or insertions or deletions, can then be provided in one of several compatible formats. These formats are explained in more detail in the online user guide. Appropriately formatted input variants can then be uploaded or the queries pasted into the web interface. Required annotations can then be selected based on the individual requirements of a project application. These can cover gene or protein consequences, effect on protein function using SIFT and polyphen, population frequency data from the 1000 genomes, HapMap and Nomad populations, regulatory elements, conservation, phenotype and disease association, non-coding scoring, structural variations, pathway analysis, and biological and clinical interpretation. Alternatively, all annotation fields can be selected to return the maximum information about a set of variants. The query can then be submitted for processing. Once the annotation process is complete, the results can be downloaded in either VCF or text format, or explored and analysed using the interactive tables and plots provided.
But first, to prioritise variants bearing functionally significant consequences for driving tumour growth and progression, all non-synonymous mutations can be easily filtered by their oncogenic classifications to retain only those with a known or predicted driver status. Out of the 20,525 input variants, this leaves a subset of 473 mutations, including variants with infrequently mutated driver genes in pancreatic cancer, such as KRAS and SMAD4. The range of interactive plots provided by SNPNexus include a carrier plot representation of the location of input variants across chromosomes, with distinguishing colours used to identify different classes of coding mutations. This makes it easy to identify mutation hotspots where clusters of non-synonymous coding variants are often found. The proportion of input variants bearing different functional consequences can also be easily viewed. In this patient, it's easy to see that most coding variants have a non-synonymous classification. Functional predictions for coding sequence variants can also be visualised on the carrier plot diagrams, again allowing for clusters of deleterious variants to be easily identified. These consequences can also be viewed as a bar plot. Enriched signalling pathways can be identified using the Pathway Visualisation tool, which allows users to zoom in on specific pathways of interest. To further investigate mutations relevant for targeted treatment, coding variants can be further analysed for known or predicted biomarkers of treatment response. In this patient, several driver variants have also been identified as potential biomarkers of response to platinum chemotherapy or PARP inhibition. By comparing these biomarker predictions with the pathway annotations provided by SNPNexus, it's easy to see that several potentially targetable alterations are detected within genes that are involved in DNA damage repair. Importantly, previous studies have shown deleterious mutations within DNA damage repair genes to be potential targets for PARP inhibition or platinum-based therapies in patients with pancreatic cancer. The ability of SNPNexus to easily identify enrichments for targetable alterations within these genes highlights the significant role it can play in the identification and prioritisation of candidate clinical biomarkers. In the rapidly evolving field of genomics research, we are dedicated to maintaining SNPNexus as a cutting-edge tool for the discovery and translation of new variants. As part of this commitment, we support regular upgrades to improve the software architecture and update the databases hosted in order to keep up with novel developments in the field. Further updates are also in progress to release a dedicated SNPNexus interface for the analysis of COVID-19 host genomes. In addition to the extensive online user guide and examples provided, we are also organising interactive training sessions to provide more detailed practical guidance on how SNPNexus can be effectively used and integrated into existing analytical pipelines. As genomics research continues to shape modern healthcare, we aim to provide an innovative resource to vastly streamline data interpretation and keep up with the demand for precision medicine. By reducing analytical burdens, SNPNexus offers significant scope for the acceleration of drug discovery efforts, helping to target novel medicines to patients most likely to benefit. If you're interested in discussing a commercial license for SNPNexus or have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.